everybody welcome back to my channel today I have a haul video for you it is a haul from the renegade craft fair now if you've never heard of the renegade craft fair it's an amazing traveling show that goes to various cities throughout the US and they celebrate shopping local and supporting local businesses but there are artists and uh, sellers that travel with the show so you might not always see somebody from your city at that show who's selling stuff but they are local independent designers and makers and bakers and everything in between so it's a really cool event to support it's free to attend and they have literally everything at the show so everything from food products like beef jerky cold brew coffee to candles home decor art stationery to jewelry tons of jewelry sunglasses clothing clutches leather goods oh they have everything so I did a haul uh, from the show last year you can check out the blog post and the uh, video I have for that on my channel and this year they had it at a different venue here it was at Fort Mason Center if you are familiar with San Francisco and I got a whole bunch of stuff so here is my bag right here it's a style haul bag and I didn't get that at the show I got that at a separate event so I'm just gonna dive right in show you all the goodies I got and I'll link all the independent designers and product links I can below because obviously it's gift giving season and it's great if you can get somebody a unique gift and I think that you know when you shop at smaller vendors you're gonna get them a more special gift that they'll appreciate so so yeah we'll start off with my necklace I am wearing this uh, onyx necklace it's on a brass chain this is by Molly Rose Post Jewelry. I featured her last year. I love her pieces. They're kind of vintage, but edgy, but also costumey. They're really great, and they're made with really quality ingre uh, not ingredients. They're made with really quality uh, materials and metals and precious stones. So this is made of onyx. It's like a black square pyramid. And the other piece I got from her is this beautiful, dainty pearl necklace. And obviously, since my last name is Pearl, you know I went for this one. So it's just three freshwater pearls on a gold strand and it's a very understated and delicate and might be really good for layering. So I like this piece and I can't wait to style that. So I love her, love her stuff. So another jewelry vendor I visited was Snash Jewelry. I think they're based in Brooklyn. Here is their card right here. They make really cool statement jewelry. So they weren't allowing photos at their booth, um, but they had some amazing stuff. So they have cool like nameplate, necklaces, rings, um, other statement jewelry like earrings. And I got two statement rings and I think I'm gonna be giving these to one of my friends for Christmas. So fingers crossed she doesn't watch this video. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but one of the rings says Oakland on it in the silver. And then the upper one says vodka. Literally, they had words for every lifestyle under the sun. They had ones that said brunch or sandwich or Brooklyn, different cities, places, things that people like and really express themselves. So I'm losing light here. So please uh, forgive me if the lighting's adjusted. My ring light is about to die. So anyways, these were pretty pricey. I think they were around $45 a piece. But again, it makes a really unique personalized gift for somebody. Wow, it just like lit up again. I don't know what's happening there. So I'll link their website below so you can check out their stuff. Really cool, unique stuff. And I'm, I'm sure that when my friend opens the Oakland ring, she actually is from Oakland, but she moved away and I miss her so much every day. I think that's gonna be a really great gift that she's gonna love because it's like home. She can wear home with her and remind her of her friends and you know, her roots, so I love that. Okay, so two food items I bought. The first is this Three Jerks beef jerky. It's made with filet mignon beef, and I got the original. This was just really tender, really juicy. They don't use artificial ingredients or preservatives. Um, and yeah, it was some of the best beef jerky I've ever tried. So I think this bag was 8 or $12, I can't remember. And my boyfriend loves beef jerky, um, so I thought we'd bring this on our plane ride to Kansas City for Christmas because we'll be reaching for this on the plane for sure. This is from Cowboy Toffee Company and I got some toffee and this is the Mustang toffee. It's made with butter, sugar, and semi-sweet chocolate and almonds. So you get a little hefty bag of toffee bricks in there and it was so good, so delicious. And this company makes something like 60 different toffee varieties. Oh my god, I just got a whiff of it from opening the box. They have things with like ghost peppers, habaneros, peppermint, um, bittersweet chocolate, dark chocolate, a little bit of something for everybody. So I really recommend this company. Check them out and it was really affordable. It makes a great gift or stocking stuffer. 
They hooked me up with some samples of the toffee because it was, I went on Sunday, it was the end of the show, so a lot of the vendors were running out of things. So um, I recommend going the first day, not the end of the show like I did, but I, I don't like crowds, so, so anyways. I picked up a Pomfrey uh, Candle Company candle. These are soy candles. You'll probably recognize these. These are really popular on YouTube. Um, it's a soy candle. It's made in California. I think these hail out of Santa Monica, if I believe. Definitely Southern California. And the scent I got was the Sweet Grapefruit. Oh my gosh. It's so like light and sweet. Oh, it just smells really good. So I love that. Um, I like fruity scents and I like sweet scents, but I tend to like more fruity sweet instead of like sweet bakery scents. So I love this. Can't wait to burn it. I have a lot of candles still to get through. I have one left over that I purchased from last year's Renegade Craft Fair. So yeah, still working through that. And let's see, the last two items I got are candles from a company called Type Lights. And these guys I believe are based out of the Bay Area, probably Oakland, I think. Oh, my lighting, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, I think the battery is about to die on my ring light, so yeah. Anyways, I'll wrap up pretty quickly here. These are by Type Lights. These are the Woodwick Soy Candles, and you've probably seen these again because they're really popular in boutiques and indie, like, online stores. Um, they have this, like, cool packaging. It's, like, very DIY, handmade, and you get to pick your own lid, so I picked one that says Oakland. I was born in Oakland, so, you know, gotta rep my city, and this is a cool, like, artsy kind of Instagram rearview mirror photography shot, so the scents I purchased were Amaretto and Guava Goji. Amaretto is intoxicating. It's sweet. It's Oh my gosh, it's deep, it's musky, got a little bit amber in there, but yeah, it smells like amaretto, so if you're familiar with that liqueur, you'll know what I'm talking about. And the other scent is guava goji. Oh, this one's really fresh and fruity and light, so it's not, um, it's like along the same vein as a grapefruit scent, just light, airy, somewhat citrusy, uh, tropical. I love it, so this will be a great one. I burn fruity candles all year long because I love the scent, but... Yeah, it's definitely really lovely in the spring. So what's nice about these, I don't know if you have seen them before, but they do have a wood wick. So my hope is that these will like produce a really lovely crackling sound. I've never burned one of these before. So yeah, I thought these were a really cool find and they were about 20 bucks a piece and the palm frit was a little bit cheaper. This was about $16. And then what was really cool about Type Lights is that they gave you these really cool matchbooks that like this one has a Shiba Inu on it and this one has California Street. This is in downtown San Francisco and just really cool stuff. So I'll definitely link these guys below as with all the products we featured here today. All right, so that's it. I feel like I spoke a million miles a minute. If you missed anything, Everything will be listed in the description box below, so please check that out. And of course, as always, check out my blog, ChelseaPearl.com. I'll try and incorporate any coupon codes I can find for these products now that the holidays are coming up because obviously, who doesn't like to save money? All right, you guys, so thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video.